Well, breaking news as we come in the air now at five, two major roads in our area closed right now. You're looking at one of them. Part of Interstate 80 shut down after a major crash. Our traffic map seeing red, seeing purple there mm -hmm. on the map. Uh, it stretches into three local counties. The backup from this and the KDK drone team providing this live look at the backup. Look at those tractor trailers. This is at the Emlinton High Level Bridge in Richland Township, Clarion County. Yeah, so this is the bridge that goes over over the Allegheny River. You can see the pile up involving multiple tractor trailers, some of them jackknifed. This is going to take a long time to clear. John Shumway is tracking this for us and also the other major highway that's shut down right now, John. Yeah, that's the Parkway North and we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's talk about I-80 for just a second and this is going to be with us for quite a while because we have some serious injuries that are involved in this crash. As we take a look at our picture from our KDKA drone team, counting. We were able to count nine tractor trailers that are involved in this crash zone, if you will, over the river, not to mention a couple of other private vehicles as well. Uh, they have been at this since 1230 this morning. Again, we're waiting for word on the condition of the people who were involved and any serious injuries. Now in the foreground, what you see crawling past the accident scene is the eastbound traffic. We're not sure whether they've reopened one lane eastbound or if this is just trying to alleviate the backup that has been created by this accident on that bridge over the river, but we'll keep you updated on that. For now, what we do know is that the we're being told that I-80 is closed from Emlinton all the way to Knox. Now, as a result, the detour, look at this detour route. I mean, this is the only way to get there. Go over through the St. Petersburg area up through Emlinton. That is a twisting, winding, extensive detour route. Uh, you may be, if you're getting ready to head out this morning and you use I-80, you might just want to wait for a while and see if they can't get this open a little bit more.